Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. On the Japanese New Year Reincarnation Twitter, they put up this uh, kind of account progression chart. I am not expecting them to translate this into English because uh, they've been uh, cutting a lot of corners as far as like news and stuff for the English version. So I thought I would do it myself, and even if they do put it up later, uh, this video might be interesting uh, for folks that want to know like what goes into translation and like why uh, AI is not uh, you know strong enough or nuanced enough to completely replace people. All right, but uh, the title up there that loosely translates to um, recommended uh, game content, game modes, depending on your force level. Now, of course, anyone that has played the game a while knows that uh, force level is not an exact indicator of what you are uh, capable of. Uh, you can have less than the recommended force and still win. You can have more than the recommended force and still lose. It's just a loose metric to go by. All right, but let's look at the uh, upper left corner. So that uh, very left column, that will be your uh, highest uh, force level. And then it will say the, uh, the, uh, the amount there on the left. So this will be up to 100k force level. And then uh, content, this is the, uh, the game mode that uh, would be good for you to play. And here it says uh, main quest, record quest, and mutation quest. That is translated as the variation quest in the game. And then the, uh, the next category, the next column, development policy. <laughs> this is like how your account will uh, get stronger or improve by doing uh, this quest. So it says uh, enhanced costumes and weapons. So yeah, we can go to the exchange shop and then uh, you know exchange for the uh, offered characters or weapons. Or with the, uh, the mutation quest, we can uh, pull the hatcher with the tickets and then get uh, weapons that way. Okay, next, target rewards. These are like the, uh, the specific rewards that we get for uh, playing these. It says uh, costumes, which can be obtained from record quest. And then uh, it should be four star weapons that can be attained in the mutation quest. And one point advice. That is, uh, you know, straight from the Japanese, but to say in English, it would be like um, general advice or like minimum advice. Uh, here it says, when challenging a quest, organize an advantageous attribute. They're talking about an elemental uh, advantage. And then match the costume's favorite weapon type. Right, use a uh, proficient weapon. Yeah, it's good advice. I agree with that. <laughs> All right, next we have the uh, the next row, uh, force between 100k and 200k. Uh, they recommend the um, dark memory quests and then the uh, hard difficulty of the, uh, the main quests. And then under uh, reasons to play in uh, dark memories, we can unlock weapons and then eventually the, uh, the costumes. And then for details on the uh, rewards for playing, uh, if you beat main quest hard, right, that will get you the, uh, the dark memory weapons, uh, which will lead to uh, opening up those quests. And then, right, uh, under the recommended contents, it never actually mentions subjugations, but they say that here. Uh, we can unlock the Blackhorn weapons by getting uh, scores, S1, in subjugations. Yeah, subjugations, that can kind of be approached at any time, as long as you have uh, nine characters to uh, go in there. All right, and then for the advice, it says, um, when challenging the uh, main quest, check the enemy information, make a good team for that. And then with the, uh, the dark memory, uh, let's see, play the daily quests, uh, to get stuff to uh, upgrade people, get, uh, you know, coins and uh, tickets, and then slowly collect the Zenith Brilliance. Translated as Zenith Glow here. <laughs> okay, next row, uh, force level between 200k and 300k. Uh, Phantom Light, that means the uh, Recollections of Dusk. And then the EX Hard difficulty of the, uh, the record quests. And here they translate the 
uh, Recollections of Dusk differently. Phantom Light to Missionary Light. Uh, but yeah, we can get costumes and weapons there. If you beat uh, the normal difficulty of the uh, Recollections of Dusk, then uh, you'll get the, uh, the weapon and the character. And then if you beat uh, EX Hard, you can, for example, get uh, Awakening Stones for Dark Memory characters. Under the Zero. Under the Zero. Oh, that means a uh, Frozen Heart. That is a very different translation there. <laughs> okay, and then advice here. Uh, when playing the uh, Recollections of Dusk, aim for... Um, this is the Burden Relief, 8 or higher. Okay, last. Uh, force level, 400k and up. Board of Causality. No, this is the, uh, the Fate Boards. It's an interesting translation. Uh, if we play those, we can get stuff to take weapons or um, costumes to uh, level 100. Not costumes, characters. And then for rewards, right. Poetry of Truth, Verse of Truth, as it is uh, translated in the English, or adamant. And then, uh, advice here. When you challenge the board of, that can be obtained from the board of. <laughs> but yeah, when you challenge the fate boards, uh, healing is going to be important. That didn't come through in the uh, translation at all. And then use the, um, the, the correct element uh, weapons in order to get more uh, stats there. Okay, that was a, a translation of the uh, account progression from beginners to expert. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Take care.